Hello, I'm Mike Billington, a co-editor of the Executive Intelligence Review. Many of you have watched the interview I held on April 26th for EIR and the Schiller Institute and the LaRouche Organization with Colonel Richard Black, a former Marine, uh, the former head of the Army Criminal Division at the Pentagon, a former member of the Virginia Commonwealth Legislature, and a true American patriot. This interview conveys Colonel Black's clear warning that the policies of the US government, the British government, and NATO are driving the world to the brink of a cataclysmic nuclear confrontation with Russia. The interview has been viewed over 630,000 times as of June 1st, with over 5,000 comments, almost all expressing the deepest respect for Colonel Black's courage in telling the truth to the madness of our political leadership. There has been a similar response to the Schiller Institute Conference of May 26th, which also featured Colonel Black, along with Schiller Institute founder Helga Zepp LaRouche, former CIA official Ray McGovern, who is also the co-founder of the Veterans Intelligence Professionals for Sanity, or VIPs, as well as Italian and French military and intelligence officials. Under the title, quote, the insanity of politicians threatens nuclear war. This conference and Colonel Black's video have inspired hundreds of thousands of people from all over the world to join with the Schiller Institute call to action to stop the provocations to war with Russia as well as with China and to build a new security and development architecture for all nations. But it has also provoked a direct attack from the war machine itself against Colonel Black, against Ray McGovern, against the Schiller Institute and its founder, Helga Zepp LaRouche. The so-called Center for Countering Disinformation, which was set up in Ukraine by NATO to censure any truth about the war in Ukraine or about the extensive neo-Nazi forces in that country within the military and within the government, calling any such truthful reports as Russian disinformation. This is precisely what the Department of Homeland Defense in the United States set up in April calling it the Disinformation Governance Board, which would better be called the Ministry of Truth to censure any narrative which challenges the war hysteria as Russian disinformation. Due to the massive outcry of opposition from Americans who value the Constitution, this board had to dismiss its original psychotic leader, Nina Jankowicz, but it should be shut down altogether. The NATO version of this Ministry of Truth in Ukraine issued a statement on May 28th, reading as follows. German politician and head of the Schiller Institute, Helga Zepp LaRouche, blames Western countries for the fact that their leaders have not listened to Putin. H. Zepp LaRouche organized an international discussion on the new security architecture of the world and the threat of World War III. H. Zepp LaRouche has been pushing the rhetoric of Russia in the Western information space for over 10 years, end quote. Earlier on May 25th, this same disinformation center denounced my interview with Colonel Black, saying that Colonel Black asserted that Russia, quote, could not afford to lose the war with Ukraine since this would mean that NATO will move to the Russian borders without hindrance. They quote Colonel Black saying that, quote, it breaks his heart when he sees a video where Ukraine forces criminally kill Russian boys. But they leave out the second part of that sentence when Colonel Black added that, quote, and likewise, I see Ukrainian young men who are being slaughtered on the battlefield. It will ensure that a tremendous number of innocent Ukrainian soldiers will die needlessly. A lot of Russian soldiers will die needlessly. These are kids. You know, kids kids go off to war. I went off to war as a kid. You think your country, right or wrong, everything they're doing is fine. 
uh, I, it just it breaks my heart when I look at the the faces of of young Russian boys who have been who have been gunned down uh, in some cases very criminally by Ukrainian forces, and likewise I see Ukrainian uh, young men who who are being slaughtered on the battlefield. We don't care. The United States and NATO. We do not care how many Ukrainians die, not civilians, not women, not children, not soldiers. We do not care. We are, it's, it's, it's become a great football game. The disinformation center closed this statement as follows, quote, we warn you, such statements of the expert are an element of the information and psychological operation of the enemy which is trying to convince the West of the futility of helping Ukraine, end quote. This attempt to discredit the Schiller Institute is actually a demonstration that the truth is breaking through the massive information war being run from the United Kingdom and the United States. And the attack itself is actually helping to spread the truth. It is clear that the Western oligarchs and the financial lords of the city of London and Wall Street, whose financial bubble is collapsing into a hyperinflationary blowup, care absolutely nothing for Ukraine, which is being sacrificed in order to have an excuse for their desperate and evil effort to destroy Russia and China, to destroy the alternative to war and economic disintegration i.e. peace through development, as promoted by the Schiller Institute through the new Silk Road and the cooperation of all nations in physical economic development for all. Mark the dates June 1819, when the Schiller Institute will hold another conference, this one under the title, There Can Be No Peace Without the Bankruptcy Reorganization of the Dying Transatlantic Financial System. Thank you.